Hello, so let's solve for a return on investment for XYZ. Ah, but ayaw sumulat. Okay. X, wait. Tingnan natin. Ayan. We have X, Y, Z. And, uh, uh, ano yung letter A natin? Letter A is turnover. We know that every time that we're using turnover, your numerator should be sales. Okay. And, since this is a operating asset turnover, so it will be an operating asset. So, what's our data? We have 500,000. And we divide it by, how much is the operating asset? 100. So, this is equal to 5 times since we have turnover. Letter B would be margin. We know that when using margin, the denominator is always sales. And what type of margin are we uh, looking at? It should be uh, operating profit margin. Diba? Yung margin dito ay yung operating profit margin. So, how much is our operating uh, income? So, that would be... How much? 25. Diba? And how much is our sales? 500. And what will be our answer? It will be 5%. So our ROI will be turnover multiplied by margin or margin multiplied by turnover. So that would be 5 multiplied by 5%. So, your return on investment is 25%. Or, wait. Ay, nawala. Oh my God. Yan ang sinasabi. Diba? Oh, Lord. Sulat ko na lang later ulit. Diba? <laughs> ah. Wala lahat kasi sinulat ko. Anyway, buti na lang nakabidyo to. And then, you have your ROI. Ay, nasunulat na ko yan. Bakit? So, we have the ROI. Okay? And the ROI will be 5 times multiplied by, uh, wait, 5 multiplied by your 5%, so that would be equal to 25%. Well, that's our answer. This is for division X. And we have uh, for division Y and division Z. But um, letter E, ano ang missing sa letter E? Operating asset. No pa. Tingnan natin class. Ay, ba ayaw gumalaw? We have F. Okay. Ah, meron pa tayong letter D. Nako naman. Ano yung D? It is sales. Ano yung F? It is turnover. Okay. So, if we would like to compute for uh, letter D, ano yung hinahanap natin? Operating income. So, what are we going to uh, use? We have here margin of Four percent, right? So we're going to use uh, the zero point four percent margin, and we have an operating income of <coughs> eleven plus 
30,000. Okay. And we need to have our sales. Okay. So we wait. Okay, nalito. Nahin muna natin kapitin yung sales. Palitan ko na nga ito plus. Hindi kayo nalito. And then, letter E will be operating asset. And then, ito yung letter F. Okay? So, we have sales yung missing. And, anong gagawin natin? Meron ng 0.4% at saka meron na itong operating income. So, ano to? Sales will be equal to 30,000 divided by yung 0.4% magiging 0.004. So, that would be 7.5M. Okay? So, that's your asset. Eh, ano yung hinahanap sa atin sa letter E? Hinahanap sa atin sa letter E ay operating assets. Eh, kita nyo ito, klaso. Meron tayong, ano yung meron tayo? We have given yung ROI. And how do we get ROI? That would be operating income divided by operating asset. Um... Eh, ano ba hinahanap natin ito? Operating asset. Do we have already operating income? Have we computed it already? Ay, class. Kasi, return on. Makita nyo, hindi nyo sinasabi. Wait. Pag sinabing return, o di, ayan. <coughs> operating income, di ba, di ba? sale. So, ano yung hahanapin natin? In class, anong hahanapin natin? We have already 2%. Right? We have already the operating income of 30,000 because we are answering for division Y. And we don't have operating asset. So, your operating asset will be equal to, o, ilan to? This will be equal to, operating asset is equal to 30,000 divided by 0.2%. Pag kinonvert natin yan, ilan yan? 0.02. Which is equal to, o, ilan? 3 divided by 2. You have, 1.5M as your operating asset. What about letter F? O letter F na tayo. Letter F is ayun o, turnover. Diba? So, it would be, paano yan? Pagka turnover. Yung sales. Saan natin siya i-divide? Pag turn over. Kayo. Hindi nakuha na ba tayo? Wala nga. Ayaw. Turn over margin. How would you do that? Turn over is sales over operating asset. Tama ba? O may iba tayong formula? kapag uh, turn over. Mm, people, turn over. Sales over operating asset pa rin yan. Alam naman, di ba? Lagi ang numerator nyo pagka ganyan eh. Yung asset, di ba? Pagka asset turn over, ang numerator natin would be sales. Okay? So, uh, do you know already? What is our answer for letter F? O yung una natin na compute. We have 7.5M. Ilan yung operating asset natin? 1.5M. So, that would be 5 times. 
That's F. O, tingnan natin yung G. O, yung G, ano uli? Ano hinahanap natin sa G? Ito, o. Ano yung nauna natin? Sales. Hinahanap natin dyan. Sales. Ano pwede natin gamitin? To, ano tong 250,000? Operating asset. And then we have, Point four. Any point four na tayong margin. Tama? Point four is. Ay hindi. Point four is turnover. E di ba pagka turnover? Ani yon? How do you get your turnover? Turnover is sales divided by operating asset. Given yung turnover, how much is our turnover? 0.4. Ang sales ang missing. O may operating asset ba tayo? Meron. Ayan na, 250. O di magkano yung, o hindi pala magkano. Ano yung sagot na sales? So magiging 0.4. Multiplied by 250 is equal to 100,000. That is your sales. And then H, margin. You have 5%. What is the 5%? 5% is The margin itself. Eh, ano yung hinahanap ba? Ay, ah, sa H. Nasaan yung H? Ay, sorry, ang hinahanap sa H ay operating income. So, if it is operating income, pag ang margin mo, anong gagawin mo? That would be operating income divided by sales, di ba? O, may sales ba tayo? Yes. Ilan yung sales natin? Dito sa na-compute natin. Ito, oh, 100,000. So, that would be operating income divided by, ito yun, oh, 100,000. So, your operating income will be 5% multiplied by 100,000. And that is 5,000 pesos or dollars. And the last item. No, yung I. That would be return on investment. So, that would be, ito, ito ang gagamitin natin. Diba? Ay, sorry. Uh, point 0.4 multiplied by 5% uh, is equal to 2% or 5,000 multiplied by 250,000. Which would be the same. It will also be 2%. So, I hope you have uh, learned how to compute for turnover, the margin, and the ROI. I know uh, this, the ratios are reviewed to us. We're just going to apply it to uh, your responsibility accounting. In this case, we are... Uh, Looking at division X and division Y. The other question would be, uh, what questions are we going to raise with the result? Considering that <clears throat> the ROI for X will be, uh, for Z is 2%. For Y is, ilang kay Y? 2%. And for X is, ilang kay X? 25%. Ano ang ano natin dyan? Masasabi. Dahil, uh, yung sales nila ay 60. Uh, is it comparable? Yung mga sales nila. You have 500. Other one would be 7.5, diba? Yung ano natin. Tapos, yung isa pa, magkano? 
How much is the sale? Ano ba? Laki din, no? Magkaiba mo. 7.5 versus 500. Mm. Ano man sasabi niyo dito? Eh, kung titignan mo lang, araw ay, ang eh, layo naman ng 25% sa, sa ano, sa 2%, diba? Ang titignan lang natin dito ay yung composition ng turnover at saka ng uh, profit margin. Kung, uh, is it, is it, the effectiveness or the efficiency that is actually uh, contributing. Okay? And we need to take a look at uh, uh, whether there is too much in terms of what had been uh, tied up sa inventory at sa receivable or they made their idle cash or they are unused fixed asset. Those, those are your, your concern. Okay? So, thank you for listening. Good day.